New Florida kitchen with Chef Ralph. Oyster salmon fresh from the sea. Time for another Chef Ralph recipe. The good times and great food are here to stay. Meet me at Saltwater Cafe. Chef Ralph's New Florida kitchen. Chef Ralph's New Florida kitchen is brought to you in part by the Saltwater Cafe. Welcome to the New Florida Kitchen. I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe and we have a great show for you. We will actually cook some local food. I brought with you a, a triple tail today. Uh, we will cook some triple tail and then we will make a conch fritter. A lot of people have seen conch fritter, but we don't know how to make it. We'll make some conch fritters today. I got some great guests here. Thank you very much for coming. I have Charmaine here from the Venice Gondolier. Uh, Dennis is from the Venice Olive Oil, the owner of Dennis, uh, Venice Olive Oil. Thank you very much. You brought Karen with you too. And we have Mr. Moreno here. He has a doctor at the veterinary office in Venice. We will talk a little bit to him. Okay, let's get started here. Let's talk to Charmaine. She's from the Venice Gondolier. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, how many years you work with the Gondolier? I have been there actually about 29 months. Oh wow, yeah. that's, a, that's pretty new. Or not very the... new with the Gondolier, but I've been uh, yeah. in advertising for over 30 years. Yeah. Okay, yeah. tell us a little yes. bit what you do with the Gondolier. I am the medical advertising representative. I actually work with clients in the Sarasota market and in the Venice market. I like to say that I'm a consultant for them. I like to put together campaigns that will bring them results because we have uh, a plethora of products besides our newspaper. We also have uh, special sections that go into the newspaper amongst our 12 and 13 different publications. Yeah, well, you brought a couple of those with you here. I did, and we're very proud to say I wanted to share the first one, which is our uh, Discover Venice. Um, Discover Venice actually won an award from the Florida uh, Press Association this year uh, for 2016 as the best magazine news in the newspaper in the state of Florida. That's great. And so, and I want to thank our advertisers for that because they're a part of this and they're going to get a lot of recognition through that as well. That's really great. So, but what I'm very passionate about is the healthcare industry. And as you know, Florida is a big component of yeah. healthcare. And so we used to have, this is called Wellbeing in Paradise. And we really just launched it in January. It used to be a special section within a magazine, but because of what the um, clientele or the, our customers want in the healthcare industry, we decided to create our own publication. I actually work with about 16 advisory members. These are business professionals out in the community. They're in the healthcare business. We meet every other month. We discuss the content that's gonna be going into the publication, and they actually um, take the content create their own topics of what they feel that uh, would be the interest out in the community, and they submit articles to us on those topics. So it is a win-win for everyone. It's a win-win for our, um, our customers that are reading the paper and the magazine. It's a win-win for the advisory members because they're getting recognition and also the businesses that are in the publication. Yeah. And you don't have to be in the healthcare business to be in the magazine because of the content is what the readers want and you want the reader's eye. And so anyone can av actually advertise in the yeah. publication. I, I advertising for 20 years with the Venice Gondolier now. Wonderful. So yeah, on the, I really can say it works. You know, you always put the nice program together for salt water. You always find out what's the best reader to, to reach my customers. Absolutely. It works really well. Yeah. We were actually thinking about doing um, a, a healthy recipe. Okay. And we do every other month with the with the publication. Okay. Great. So if um, our readers or the people that are your audience that is are looking right now, if they would like to receive these publications, they can call um, the office 941-207-1000, and they could uh, subscribe to the newspaper if they wish, and all these come into the newspaper. Great. Thank you very much for okay. coming. Uh, Absolutely. You ever had conch, uh, conch fritters? You know, the first time I had conch is yeah. when I was in the Bahamas. Okay, and good. they were cutting it up raw on the beach and they made conch salad. Okay. Yeah. And I loved it. Okay, good. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. What I have is a uh, conch fritters. And, uh, everybody makes them a little different. I show you a way what I'm doing. It's not that healthy. You talked about healthy recipes. Right. That's not that healthy. <laughs> oh, but it's good. First, I like to uh, say conch fritters, 
That's actually a conch shell here where I brought with it. And you actually make normally a hole on top and then you take the conch out. That's the, the way to do it. Okay, and what I did here, I actually cooked conch and pureed it up. That's cooked conch here already. Okay, good. Okay, let's start off with a little beer. That's optional. You can do this just with water or milk when you want. Here we go. Mix that all together. Good. And then I have here three eggs. Keep yeah, keep on stirring. Good. Then what we're doing, we will add some flour. Let's get a spoon here and get a nice, beautiful thickness. Let's keep stirring it. Good. <laughs> what I also do is a little baking powder that makes them a little fluffy. Good. We need to have a little bit more thick. And you just add a little flour because you got a, a nice thick. Yeah, a little bit getting more. There. Yeah, getting there. Okay, good. What we're doing is we add some peppers, a little bit of garlic, then I have a little scallion and onions. Good, and then we add that conch. Nice. Good. Okay. The best thing is to do it. Of course, we need to season that a little bit. I like to do it a good. Little, <laughs> little blackening seasoning. Get them at a little kick. Add that right in here. Good. And a little seafood seasoning. Good. Okay, when you like hot, you can actually put some hot sauce in there. You can do it too. Salt and pepper will work when you don't have my seasoning. Salt and pepper will actually work too. Okay, we have a batter here. Best is the best results is where you actually achieve when you let that sit for about two hours. And I did that. Let me open this up. Do you actually, yeah. this is actually your seasoning? Yeah, your that's my seasoning, okay. yeah. What you're doing, you let them sit. You see the flour make that's actually very thick on the end. And just turn a little brown, the pound turn a little brown. That's okay, that's all good. It will turn out very well. Let's put that in the cooler and let that sit also. Okay, good. Good, okay. I got a fryer ready here. Right here, 375 degrees. And what you're doing, we take a little ice cream scoop and then we drop those fritters right in. We will cook this for about Five, five, seven minutes. It's how pens how big you make your fritters. Right there. Okay, I will make a couple more here. We're going quick to the break. When we come back, I'll show you how it looks like. Awesome. Right back. Hi folks, welcome to Venice Olive Oil Company. Our store features seasonal oils and vinegars from all over the world. We do free tastings every day. We also have great gift items. Come on down and see me at the Venice Olive Oil Store. We make all the sausages, all the lunch meats here. There's no preservatives, no fillers, nothing artificial. March will be 32 years, he's doing it right here in Port Charlotte. Come see us at Calis. When you're the Kia Giant in the state of Florida, this is the way we roll. Look behind it, extended. In October, the Barcelo, the Mexican extravaganza, Lisa Purchase, it's all about being huge, Florida huge. The new Florida Kitchen is brought to you by the Saltwater Cafe. I'm here with Charmaine uh, from the Venice Gondelier. Thank you very much for coming one more time. We, did, we cooked some conch fritters here, and they are nice golden brown. The, the, you know, you think they're a little dark? No, they, they are good like that. They you smell know. delicious. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. We take them out here. And also, I brought with me here a little rice noodles. Uh, rice noodles, you can actually buy in all the major, major grocery stores. And what I did, I, put, I took them actually, take them a little apart, and I just put those in the fryer. What happens is, what happens is, you start to cooking and popping up just like that. That's, you know how to do that. You see, very That's simple. Wonderful. Yeah, very Never simple. Exists. Very simple, very easy to make. Okay, how are we dressing that? We take a little bit of a plate here, a little salad. Take a couple of those conch fritters, put them right on it. Yeah, we take a little, about a little Thai, sweet Thai chili sauce. You know, put a little bit of that on it. A little bit of a spice. Yeah, and it's nice and sweet. And we garnish that with a little bit of those Chinese noodles what we just made. 
from here. And then you can serve a little chopsticks with it also. We have Alexis here from uh, Republic National. Thank you very much Thanks for, for coming. Me. What do you brought us with us today? Uh, today our selection is from Geeson Winery. It comes from Pacific Highway. Um, they're out of New Zealand. This is their Riesling. Uh, the sweetness and the medium sweetness of the Riesling is going to play really nicely with the spice and the chili sauce. Uh, they take their wines and they select it from 19 different vineyards from the best in Marlboro, Waipro, and Nelson. So okay, it's a that's really great. Nice blend. I want to say here, Alex, doing always such a fantastic job at the restaurant. What well, you do at the you. restaurant, you're always pairing the great wines with it. Thank you very much for oh, doing thank that. You for okay, me. let's try it out. Yeah. We open that up and try it out. Absolutely. Look up, I can reach a nice little glass here, and then you can pour a little bit. Uh, be cooking some treble tail when we come back. Stay with us, we will be right back. Hi, I'm Karen Errico. I'm here to talk about this year's Sun Fiesta. I'm with the Women's Sertoma Club, and this is our great fundraiser. Um, the proceeds go back to the community. It's a great event. It's got something for all ages. It's got a kid's corner. It's got a bouncy house. It's got rock painting. It's got a beer and wine tent for the adults. It's got live entertainment. We have Bed races, which is a lot of fun. We have a great parade. Miss Sun Fiesta pageant is also held. And then we have a beautiful breakfast with the young Marines on Sunday morning. The dates for the Sun Fiesta are October 20th, 21st, and 22nd. It's gonna be held at Centennial Park in beautiful Venice, Florida. And the best part is there is no charge. It's free admission for everybody. So come and visit us at the Sun Fiesta. You'll have a lot of fun. I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe. Come see me for happy hour from 4 to 5.30. We have wings, oysters, shrimps, flatbread, and a lot more. Wings and oysters for 69 cents, 49 cents shrimp. See you at happy hour. Welcome back to the New Florida Kitchen. I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe. And uh, we will cook here some triple tail. Uh, it's a nice local fish. But first, I want to talk to Dr. Moreno. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Uh, you have a new animal hospital, yep. the Morena Hospital, yep. I guess, or called. Tell us a little bit of sure. what are you doing, who you are, what are you doing? Yeah, sure. We, uh, we're opening a brand new hospital up. It's um, called Morano Animal Hospital. It's uh, in Venice on, by Jacaranda Circle, right in the public strip mall that's right there by the circle. Um, and basically, it is a full service uh, small animal hospital, meaning we do everything from wellness plan, you know, wellness uh, visits to vaccines to sick pets to even surgery or specialized surgery. We actually have a board certified surgeon who comes in if, if needed. Um, and really, the hospital for us is something that we we want to do that combines two different parts. It's almost like a fusion. We want to provide the best, newest, you know, technologically advanced medical care but not lose the old school um, customer service and family feeling. You know, that's very important to us. Um, with the medicine side, we have all the new toys. You know, to toys are good. Yeah. We have, you know, an in-house laboratory where we have blood machines that we can find out answers right there on the spot. We have digital x-ray, dental x-ray, ultrasound, everything like that. We, you know, the day of the uh, written medical records has since passed, so now we have um, Surface Pros carrying around with all sorts of different interactive things that we can put up on 43 inch screens to help explain interactive tools. Um, so it, it really helps us to explain what's going on because we believe that the more you know about what's happening with your pet, the more we can both help them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in the family side, the hospital is a family run hospital, a family owned family run. I'm the, the owner and the, and the veterinarian. But my wife is also there. She is the assistant manager as well as the head of reception. And my father, who has an extensive business background, is also the practice manager. So we really want to keep this family feel. You know, our pets are now family members. They're not just pets anymore. You know, they, they are really family members. Yeah. And, and we want you to come in and feel that family feel, you know, where everybody knows your name and, and you just feel like you're just an extension of our family. That's you know? great. So. Yeah, that's great. Tell us that you people can just walk in. Do you yes. need to call, make a... No, I mean, appointments are always nice, you know, so we can help to make sure that everything's done on schedule, but walk-ins are always welcome. We understand that, you know, your pet has an emergency and sometimes yeah. there's yeah. not enough time to call, so we always uh, welcome walk-ins as well. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you very much for yeah. coming. Really great, thank you. Um, I heard you're not really a big seafood eater. No, no. no? It's okay. Okay, good. We will try that out <laughs> I'm today. I'm to try. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, what's it doing? Uh, we're cooking actually triple tail and then make that new Florida style. 
The new Florida style is actually a style where we actually start work, actually start to show off. That's what all happens on Come Along. This was one of the first dishes what we did. And we named actually the show after that, the new Florida kitchen. And when you go to the restaurant, Saltwater Cafe, you will find it on the menu, the new Florida style. Okay, fish. It's a topping where we actually serve with any kind of fish, with salmon, grouper, swordfish, whatever it is. Okay, let's start that topping first off. Um, let's get a little bit of olive oil. Good. We start off with the onions. Sure. Yeah, let's put some onions in here. Good. And then a kebasa sausage. Kebasa sausage, you can use any kind you like. You can do a beef, a turkey, chicken. You make a mocha. Even when you're going to go vegetarian and don't like any meat, you have to go vegetable sausage, vegan sausage. You can use whatever you prefer. Okay. Peppers. Yeah. Good. Good. Smells great already. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's one of my favorite dishes. It's a, people don't believe that you actually can crack meat on sausage mix it mm. on topping on a fish. You're used to just the Oscar style where you put a little crab meat on it on the Bernays sauce. That's a little step further. You will see that gives them fish actually a whole nother meaning. Yeah. Good. Let's sort that out here. Good. Okay. Meanwhile, we're here sauteing. I will talk a little bit about the triple tail. Triple tail. Local fish. You find them all around here up the coast in the Gulf on the most of the time he, is, he comes uh, alone by buoys, you see him sitting around. It looks like little brownish, that's a triple tail. And uh, I don't know, you don't see it on a lot of menus, on the, on the restaurant menus, we start to serve him, and people really like him. You know, that's, uh, you will see a taste something between a snapper and a grouper. It's about the same, a little more firm. Uh, what I have here, that's the triple tail. When you take the filet out, Looks close like to the snapper fillet or a grouper fillet. Got that really little reddish tone on it. Okay, good. Okay, then we put here, we start to, yeah, there's a little uh, yellow peppers. You find them in your sandwiches, you know, often. That's giving that uh, little vinegar taste and a little sweetness to it. Good. Put the banana peppers? Yeah, yeah. Not too hot. What we will do, we actually will put some Cajun seasoning on here. Not yet, let's wait a minute. Mm -hmm. What I will do is, I will start to season the fish. What we're doing today, we're making actually, uh, put a little Bronx blackened seasoning on, on that fish. Okay, good. Let's put the crab meat in. Good, good. 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 And the scallions on tomato. Good, beautiful. Good. And then we put a little blackening seasoning on this one also. It's got a nice bright color to it. Yeah. Get them a little spice. Okay. We let that on low, low fire a little go for about 10, 10 minutes. Good 10 minutes. It's got to all soften a little bit up. When actually the veterinary open up? Uh, the hospital's set to, to open the end of October, okay, and everybody should come down, check it out. We're going to have a major grand opening on a Saturday. We'll have to update with details, yeah. but everybody remember that the first exam visit is free when you come in, so come check it out and see if, you know, see if we're, what you're looking for. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much for coming. Oh, no, thank you for but having I will me. go, I go over to my platter and we'll put the fish on the grill. Good. Let's go quick to the break. When we come back, I have some more to come to this place. Remember here at Fox, we have everything but the food. Yes, we will beat all prices, internet prices, competitors' prices from anywhere in the world. You name it, Fox has it. Shop locally, shop at Fox. Before the lights, before the cheers and the championship, 
You prepare, work hard, and sacrifice, and we're with you each step of the way. At Sarasota Orthopedic Associates, we're more than just your team physicians. We're on the field, in the huddles, practicing day after day to make the plays that get you back in the game. Back on your feet, back to work, and back to life. For more information, visit us online at soa.md. The New Florida Kitchen is brought to you by the Saltwater Cafe. Welcome back to the New Florida Kitchen. I'm Chef Rowe from the Saltwater Cafe. And uh, we have actually our fish going, our stuffing going. Um, I'm here with Dennis Oliver, with Dennis the owner. Thank you very much for coming. And you brought with you Karen also today. Uh, Tell us a little bit, what's new at the Venice Olive Oil? Well, apart from our uh, Southern Hemisphere oils that we currently are featuring, which I brought with me today, the yeah. Arbasana, we are uh, featuring some new chocolates. We're looking forward to season. We have a lot to be thankful for because of the glancing blow that we got from Irma. So we look forward to the season coming and enjoying good olive oil and balsamic with our customers and friends in, in the area. Yeah, it's always one of my favorites to do, go into the store and try the new oils when they're coming out. I'm looking almost forward to it, you know, <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, the oil, what you brought with it, you see, I just don't use it for the salad. I use them actually all over for cooking. Uh, at grilling, uh, olive oil is actually like that, it's very good. You just cannot have them too hot. You know, when you get actually, it's a cold press, it's a cold press oil. Correct, yeah. and our oils, uh, typically you can, you can, smoke point is about 400, degrees Fahrenheit, so okay. anything uh, below that, you can you can use it for a myriad of things, from grilling to yeah. frying to whatever you choose to use it with. And the myth is there that you can't cook with olive oil, but we try to uh, squash that when folks come in the store and they taste uh, our, our product yeah. and educate our customers so that they know that, sure, I could use it on a salad, I could use it to grill, I could use it to fry, and it's a host of things that you can use a healthy product like olive oil. Yeah, exactly. Um, you brought Karen with you. Tell us a little bit, what are you doing at the store? I'm the bookkeeper. I'm the one behind the door. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's great you're here. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, we make actually today, we make actually a spinach salad. We have our fish going. We have some, uh, the stuffing going. We will make, take together like a little salad. Okay, let's put about a half a ball of oil in there. Yeah. Good. good. You do cooking at home too? You cook oh, yeah. a lot? Okay, good. Then I'll put a couple of tomatoes. Then we put the da vinegar. What do you have in the vinegar here? Well, we have a, a new product. It's Cascading Wild Raspberry. Very fruity. It's made from a white grape and a lot of flavors with this balsamic. Oh, that's great. Perfect. I like the ratio about two oil, one vinegar in that salad. Let's put a little bit of that in. Also what I put in here is some blue cheese, some eggs, some onions, tomato, and then we'll put a little bacon in here too. Okay, we will get them a good stir. Okay, good. We'll go here one more time to a little break. When we come back, our fish will be ready, our stuffing will be ready. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Joanne Newman, owner of Sweet Treats and Gifts Bakery. I am located at 113 West Tampa Avenue on the island. We specialize in all kinds of desserts, birthday cakes, wedding cakes, sweet treats and gifts. We guarantee every batch is made from scratch. I'm Chef Rolf from the Salt Water Cafe. We have stone crab season, October 15th to May 15th. We have them large, small, medium, or all you can eat, or with prime rib. See you at the Salt Water Cafe. Brosh. Hey everybody, Gary Corbin with Netcinity. Hey, how excited would you be if I told you as a local business owner, everybody that drove by your establishment within 260 feet would get a message on their lock screen of their phone telling them all about your daily promotions and specials. Pretty exciting, huh? Well, reach out to me, hit my website, give me a call, and we're gonna make that a reality. Welcome back to the New Florida Kitchen. I'm Chef Rolf from the Saltwater Cafe. And our fish is finished cooked. You see our stuffing got nice and soft. Uh, let's plate that up. We have here a little bit of rice we brought from the Saltwater Cafe. That's a little softer on the rice. We take one of those fish. Good, we put that right on. Good. A little bit of stuffing goes right over it. 
Then I have here a little bit of Bernays sauce. We top that out with a little bit of sauce. And then our raspberry spinach salad, we put a little bit on the side, just like that. Nice and summery. And here you have it. And Alex from National Wine, uh, National Republican, that's right. Republic National. Republic National. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Uh, what do you pair with our fish today? So today we're going, um, we're leaving New Zealand and we're going over to California. Okay. And today I chose the ben Benzinger Family Winery um, Pinot Noir. Benzinger family's been making wine for 30 years. Uh, they're in the heart of Sonoma. Uh, they do all their vineyards organic, self-sustainable, biodynamic. Uh, this particular Pinot Noir is certified sustainable, um, and it comes from their Sonoma Coast vineyard. Okay. So it's going to pair really nice with the shrimp. Uh, I mean, sorry, with the fish, fish and the and the sausage. It's okay, perfect. Great. Right, let's try it out. And when we come back, we have actually our bartender Chris. He will make us some martini for dessert. We will be right back. For all my friends out there, that's right, in Sarasota and Bradenton, now's the time. Right here at the all-new Fusillo Kia in Port Charlotte. Folks, we're talking Kia Cadenza, and we're talking $285 a month with absolutely no money down. A $33,000 car, no money down. Folks, $285 a month. Oh, by the way, I'm taking you on a trip, you and your wife or you and your friend or whatever, to Mexico, all expense paid. Come in and see us in Port Charlotte where everything is huge. I'm Chef Roll from the Saltwater Cafe. Oyster, salmon, fresh from the sea. Time for another Chef Ralph recipe. The good times and great food are here to stay. Meet me at Saltwater Cafe. Welcome back to the New Florida Kitchen. I'm Chef Roll from the Saltwater Cafe. And uh, how was that dribble tail? You enjoyed it? It was excellent. Yeah, it was, it's, I think it's a great fish, you know, it's between a snapper and a grouper. Not fishy, you know, grouper goes more like a little fish, where people won't believe it. A grouper is actually a little fishy, to have a little fishy taste. Uh, but I'm here with uh, bar manager Chris. Thank you very much for coming. What do you make us today, actually, for the martini? Um, a chocolate espresso martini. Chocolate espresso, okay. Go ahead. Okay. First, start off with a little bit of ice. Then we're gonna start off with our espresso vodka. Then we're gonna do a little bit of a Russian standard vodka. Okay. Then we're gonna do a little bit of Irish cream. And the martini's pretty much all set. Shake it up a little bit. And a garnish, a couple of espresso beans. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Chris. Is that not a great dessert for today? Thank you very much for Cheers. coming. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for everybody for coming today. I think I had a great time. I hope so, you too. And I hope I see you next week. Chef Rolf's New Florida Kitchen has been brought to you by the Venice Olive Oil Company, Fusilla Kia of Port Charlotte, Netsinity, Fox Restaurant Equipment, Sarasota Orthopedic Associates, Venice Gondolier Sun, Top 10 Sarasota, iHeart Media, Taste Magazine, Cali's German Butcher Shop, Natural Awakenings, Sweet Treats and Gifts, and the Saltwater Cafe.